you believe it's 19 years to the day since this happened? Down the right, there's a brave header from him. Hunt rolls it, Bradley hits it, first time! Have you seen a better goal than that? Wonderful strike from the skipper, Darren Bradley. And as it so happens, the man himself dropped into the Albion training ground to deliver his new sports water, Pure Ionic. And we weren't going to miss an opportunity to talk to him about that goal. And it was a goal that Darren says had been coming. I'd hit the bar probably the last, the previous three weeks. One was against Stoke, who were obviously our nemesis. Um, and I can't remember the other two, but I'd come pretty close. But for it to all culminate in, in the first time strike against the Wolves was, uh, was nice. Because it's weird the way the goal came about, really, because it, it all, it's all come... I know you've just spoke to Kevin Keane over there. It's all come from him getting robbed on the edge of our penalty area by Wayne Faraday. That's right, yeah. He's, uh, he just mentioned it, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, and then Wayne was obviously incredibly quick. Uh, he, he sort of bypassed everybody, and I'm sort of struggling to keep up with him, but just kind of far enough up behind to, uh, to have the ball laid into my path. Be honest, how many times have you watched it? I don't know, I just got lost track after four million. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, how many times a day do you get that mentioned to you as well? Because I think we've done a couple of votes online and everything, and every time we do an Albion Greatest Goals vote, that gets somewhere in there. <laughs> uh, that's really nice. I mean, it, it, it is mentioned a lot uh, when I'm sort of involved in football circles. Um, but I never get tired of it, so... You ask me anything you want about it. <laughs> that game as a whole, I mean, it was such a ding-dong game, wasn't it? I mean, it was so back and forth. Was it a bit of a head rush to almost be a part of? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, the local derbies, I mean, they were kind of local derbies then because, I mean, there was, I mean, our team, there were probably three or four lads, local lads, and obviously the same with the Wolves. Um, and there was, there was a lot of passion, you know. Um, and I think we did the double that year over them, home and away. Um think so um, and, and they were uh, particularly frenetic yeah because I mean there was there was three pretty good goals in there I mean the one that won it was quite the header from Kevin Donovan yeah. wasn't it yeah he's a, he's a good player Kevin was very good player yeah you just have to shout at him a bit for being a bit lazy but he was a great player yeah as the captain come on who did you have to tick off the most in that side uh, in that side because there was so many it, the Aussie left such a creative side there and Keith took that on didn't he he did yeah uh, but no uh, me and Kevin used to uh, Clash quite a bit. I mean, looking at that game, I mean, when we see the scenes from it now, I mean, the 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 banks bouncing up and down the Smethwick and the Brummy. I mean, it's something that obviously players nowadays don't get to experience with the all-seater stadiums. What was it like to play in front of all those fans massed onto a bank, just standing there, bouncing around, and everything? Uh, it, it's unbelievable. It's um, when the boing boing thing started um, to actually stand on the pitch and look at, as you say, a terrace all of them just bouncing up and down it's just a wonderful sight and it's just inspiring you know and uh, it, it, uh, it really helps helps the lads and there's no doubting they responded to the Hawthorns crowd on September the 5th 1993 and because you can't get enough of a good thing let's take one last look at that goal Faraday is getting forward down the right there's a brave header from him Hunt rolls it Bradley hits it first time 